All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here, talking about real music in real time for a few real people just like you and just like me. All right, um, Revolution Saints, Eagle Flight, Dean Castronovo and Joel Hoekstra, and uh, Jeff Pilsen, who's still in Foreigner. People are like, can Foreigner just stop? They need to just stop right now. They're on the farewell tour, okay? Just relax. It's going to be all right. Um, this is a really good album. Also features the great keyboard playing of Alessandro Del Vecchio. <laughs> Alessandro's got this great name. Keyboards and vocals. So uh, check it out. I really like this album. It could be on a rock station near you. Yeah, it could be, but it won't be. Just that's my editorial comment. Revolution Saints, if they can't get on the radio, uh, nobody in the traditional melodic rock realm can get on the radio. Uh, also, speaking of radio, Modern Retro Radio, you got to go check it out. Modern Retro Radio. They are an amazing radio station. You can just Google that term and uh, you will get their website and then you can listen you can listen for long periods of time and never hear the same stuff over and over again. So again, modern retro radio playing new music by classic artists. So Mike Tramp says he was hit really hard by the thing, even after four doses of the Fauci love juice. <laughs> oh, man. But you have to do this. Everybody's got to do it. If you don't do it, yeah, we're all in trouble. <laughs> and later on, uh, he tells us that it was the Paxlovid. Paxlovid got him out of it. By the way, that's another uh, Fauci investment was the Paxlovid. Well, I took it because I had a little bit of a boomerang. And when that happens, what you do is you, you take multiple doses of Paxlovid and it clears everything up and you're fine. Senator Paul... Sit down. You're the liar, Senator Paul. <laughs> Senator Paul. <laughs> no, you. No, you. It just goes back and forth. Dr. Fauci, you're a liar. No, Senator Paul. You're the liar. <laughs> That's just great testimony. It's like a kid arguing with their parent. No, you. No, you. No, you. It's, it's great. I have a nine-year-old, so I, I do that all the time. And it's fun. We just go back and forth. So I'm Senator Paul and my kid, no, I would never equate my child to the sinister doctor who probably should be in handcuffs. Um, during a May 17th appearance uh, with the Trunkster, Edward Trunk, former <laughs> Edward J. Trunk, former White Lion singer Mike Tramp opened up about his recent battle with The Thing. Now, if you haven't been watching this channel, uh, and you just started watching, which, uh, God bless you if that's you. Um, I've been calling this the thing since what, 2020? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I've been doing. It's the thing. Um, the 62 year old Danish born musician who is currently on the road in the U.S. is part of his The Songs of White Lion tour. By the way, God bless him for going back out there. This industry destroyed white lion and they destroyed so many bands white lion along with like danger danger and firehouse and there's a few others that got a late start although white lion uh they were right in the middle of the 80s when they kicked off by the time you get to main attraction which is 1991 <laughs> nirvana is there and pearl jam is there and then the industry is like no no over here listen to this over here don't listen to that anymore Dollars of that cheesy stuff. Listen to the good stuff. Yeah, the good stuff where, you know, can I find the vein? Where's the vein? I need to find, oh, that's, uh, okay. I don't want to get too graphic because it's a, it's a family show, sort of. Um, so this is what Mike Tramp had to say. I'm hanging in there and the show must go on, as we all know. I survived this for three years. I've been around the world. The second time I came to New York and went out, did a meet and greet with 300 people. Well, two days later, the big C knocked on my door. <laughs> That's a good way. It's the big C. 
Not vitamin C, because that's, you know what, folks? Here's the deal. Don't take vitamin C. Vitamin C won't help. Don't do anything like that. And the horse paste, stay away from that. And that stuff that's like bleach. <laughs> Donald Trump, well, if you could just put bleach in people's arms and just like inject it in there. Um, I knew what he was trying to say. It was just a little bit clumsy the way he said it, but then everybody ran with it and said, Donald Trump wants to bleach people. He wants to inject people with bleach. Yeah. And uh, the Mueller investigation was legitimate too. Um, anyway, uh, asked if he had been hit hard by the thing, Mike said, the first 24 hours when it came, it was like a lightning bolt. It hit me really hard. But uh, the manager of Quiet Riot <laughs> got me on something called they have they have all kinds of things in like the quiet what, the Quiet Riot medicine cabinet. He got me on Paxlovid instantly, and within 24 hours I felt good and just had the feeling that I had the common cold inside me. Unfortunately, I'm still testing positive in the morning, but right now it's just a head cold. So that's the other thing. These tests, aren't they just great? <laughs> and these guys, they're out on the road and um, there are protocols. The contract, it's like, you gotta test and then test again and then test a third time. And that's in one day. You know, if you're about to go on stage, make sure you take a test. Pressed about whether he has done any shows since he was diagnosed, because this is, here's, here's the controversy. He says, I've done four shows. <gasps> he did four shows with the thing? What's he doing? I mean, what about what happened to the social distancing? What are the fans supposed to do? I mean, shouldn't they all be put in hermetically sealed containers in order to enjoy Mike Tramp playing the old white lion tunes? Wow. Well, at least the article doesn't say Mike Tramp puts the world in danger. <laughs> uh, he says, I've done four shows. And he says, this is kind of interesting here. A very strange component that comes with the thing for certain people is sadness. This is according to Mike Tramp. Well, you know what? Mike Tramp, he's just making stuff up. It, this isn't true. Although he's talking about the thing, not the other thing that he did in order to mitigate the thing, right? So he could have those mixed up. Who's to say it isn't the uh, Fauci love juice that's not making him sad? Makes me sad just to think about it, right? <laughs> he says, though, I've, I felt like crying. At times, I've been up on stage with the lights in my eyes, and I felt like crying. I knew I wasn't, but that's how it felt. But then again, you know that I've been in rock and roll for 46 years, and I stood on stage with nothing and had to go through the show. Huh. It's what we do. It's a pain in the butt, but I'll see it through. Wow. Now, the only piece of cut and paste journalism, they do mention that Tramp has the album Songs of White Lion out there via Frontiers Music. The album uh, sees Tramp reimagining select, select cuts from White Lion's catalog. Here's the, <laughs> they, they do say White Lion released its debut in 1985 and the album did great. It's called Fight to Survive. The band had its breakthrough with the double platinum selling Pride album, which produced two top 10 hits, Wait and uh, When the Children Cry, a song that's quite different for a heavy metal or hard rock band. They continued their success with their third album, Big Game, which achieved gold status. By the time, here's, here's the editorial. By the time White Lion released its final album, 1991's main attraction, alternative rock was in the ascendancy, leading to a swift decline of the so-called hair metal scene in terms of sales, popularity, radio play, and most importantly, relevance. Oh, okay. You know, folks, it was the industry that did all that. The industry decided what was relevant, not the fans. The fans were like, hey, what are you doing with my music? Where did it go? What'd you do with it? I've talked to countless people on this channel and privately who said, hey, yeah, things were going great. And then they pulled the rug out. They, meaning the industry. The fans didn't go, 
in like September of 1991. They didn't wake up and go, oh, great. Nevermind is here by Nirvana. We can just ditch all my old music and just listen to this now. See, they could have coexisted and then they could have battled it out. And my guess is, you know, um, grunge would have had, and by the way, grunge burnt itself out too. So if you had competition with it, it would have been relevant, but it would have been less relevant and people could have still enjoyed all the different types of music. But, you know, when you drop a band from a record label and say, yeah, you're done. Sorry. That's your last album. That's what they did to Mike Tramp, 1991. Hey, Nirvana is here, buddy. It's a horrible month in music history, September of 1991. Just horrible. Sorry. Sorry. Old man yells at tree again. I got the comment. Someone said, oh, what are you doing? Just yelling at a tree? Yeah, grunge is awesome. Good. Good for you. Keep listening. All right. Pearl Jam forever. You know, it's, it's whatever. It's just, uh, it, it's just sad that this didn't have to happen. And uh, Mike Tramp now trying to go out on the road. And uh, I don't know, it's this is just a, a really weird and kind of sad article that he had to go through all of this and that the medical industrial complex strikes again. Hey, Paxlovid worked great. What are you talking about? He's fine. He's going to be fine. This sadness thing, it's all in his head. <laughs> it's all in his head. That's what they told people. You had a reaction, Eric Clapton. You had a, you had a reaction, Eric? It's all in your head. Really? I can't feel my hands. I, I, what, what's up with that? I, you, you're dreaming it. It's not actually happening. You know, maybe you should go see some help. Get, seek, like, counseling. You know, but the people, by the way, who want to change from one type of person to another type of person, which is literally happening out there, those people, they're fine. No psychological counseling needed. Just the people who didn't have a good time after they took the Fauci love juice. Yeah, those people, they're the ones that need the help. Uh, this band here needs your support and maybe your help. I don't know. Revolution Saints. Eagle flight, baby. Um, I don't know. It's just good stuff. And I'm trying to promote this because <laughs> the record label put it out. And uh, I'm sure it will do well uh, when it comes to sales to some degree. But the fact that none of this stuff ever gets on a radio station, just it, it irks me every time I find something that's really good. It just does. It's like boring radio. Boring. It's just boring. Create another format, melodic rock. Put it in a category. Just say, here's melodic rock. And there are, the, the country of Sweden alone could fill up a melodic rock playlist um, for eight days straight without a repeat song easily. And people would enjoy it because they would hear guitar solos, melodic guitar solos. They would hear a lot of the things that they used to hear in songs, not to say that this hard stuff doesn't have guitar solos in it. How about a fluent melodic rock style solo? You know, I don't know. I'm just barking at the tree again. Old man yells at tree. All right, one more time for uh, modern uh, retro radio. Modern retro radio. Go listen to that. Uh, don't forget to um, to support this channel, <clears throat> Patreon. Um, YouTube memberships. And yes, I'm over on Truth Social. Having a blast over on Truth Social. Keep in mind, I'm not there all day. I'm only there sporadically. I can only answer so many questions. And here's the thing. Patreon, if you sign up, I'll definitely have a conversation back and forth. Um, and yes, partly because you're paying a dollar or two dollars a month, but I prioritize those conversations. And I don't have insight on every uh, music artist on the planet. People will ask me my opinions on things that either I'm not all that familiar with or it's not in my musical lane per se. Stay in your lane, dude. Um, but anyway, I'll try. <laughs> I'll go listen to stuff. People always send me links. Go listen to this. And I'm like, okay, what time is it? Oh, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. How did that happen? Um, 
But yeah, I can only do so much. Just, just putting that out there. But I do appreciate your support. Thanks again. God bless you all. God bless Mike Tramp. Hope he's going to be okay.